This video provides an overview of the surgical procedure you are or soon will be undergoing. The type of skin cancer that you have requires a specialized and highly effective surgical technique called Mohs Micrographic Surgery. Mohs Micrographic Surgery is a state-of-the-art treatment for skin cancer in which the physician serves as surgeon, pathologist, and reconstructive surgeon. It relies on the precision and accuracy of microscopic analysis to identify the skin cancer location and ensure removal of the skin cancer down to its roots. The advantages of Mohs Micrographic Surgery for selected skin cancers are, it offers the highest cure rate, up to 99%. It has the lowest chance of cancer regrowth. It spares the most healthy skin in the tissue removal process. It minimizes the potential for scarring or disfigurement. It is the most exact and precise means of skin cancer removal. And it is cost-effective outpatient surgery utilizing local anesthesia. Mohs Micrographic Surgery is effective for most types of skin cancer. However, it is most commonly used to treat basal and squamous cell carcinomas. Mohs surgery is the treatment of choice when the cancer is large, the edges of the cancer cannot be clearly defined, the cancer is in an area of the body where it is important to preserve healthy tissue, or is likely to recur if treated by common methods. Such areas include central face, eyelids, nose, ears, lips, and cheek. Skin cancer that has recurred, or for which prior treatment has failed. The cancer is especially aggressive. Or the patient has a deficient immune system, such as kidney or heart transplant patients. Mohs Micrographic Surgery is the most precise method for skin cancer removal, with the highest cure rates. With this method, the surgeon checks the removed tissue while you wait. Further surgery can be performed immediately, and repair of the surgical wound is usually completed the same day. Many cancers may form roots or fingers of diseased tissue that can extend beyond the boundaries of the visible cancer. Cancers that are most likely to form these complicated root systems are located in cosmetically sensitive or functionally critical areas around the ears, eyes, nose, lips, and scalp. Located in areas where excess tissue is minimal, such as the fingers and genitals, or where circulation is poor. Cancers that grow rapidly and or uncontrollably, or are cancers that have been previously treated. For these types of skin cancers, common treatment methods may not be successful because some of them do not rely on a microscopic examination to determine the extent of the cancer. This can lead to recurrence of the skin cancer, necessitating additional surgery. During a Mohs surgical procedure, the Mohs surgeon removes the visible portion of the tumor and the following activities take place. A thin layer of tissue is removed from the tumor site. A map or drawing is made of the removed tissue to be used as a guide to the precise location of any remaining cancer cells. The removed tissue is sectioned, thinly sliced, then mounted on microscope slides for examination. The entire bottom surface and outside edges of the tissue section are thoroughly examined under the microscope to check for evidence of remaining cancer cells. If more tumor is found, its location is traced on the map so that only areas with remaining skin cancer undergo further surgery. If any of the sections contain cancer cells, the Mohs surgeon uses the map to return to the specific area of the tumor site where the skin cancer is still present. The surgeon then removes another thin layer of tissue only from the specific area within each section where cancer cells were detected. The newly removed tissue is then microscopically examined for additional cancer cells. If microscopic analysis still shows evidence of disease, the process continues layer by layer until the cancer is completely removed. When the removed tissue shows no sign of disease, the removal process stops, preserving or saving healthy normal tissue. This technique ensures that all the diseased tissue is removed, thereby minimizing the cosmetic impact. The importance of leaving as much normal, uninvolved skin as possible is readily appreciated when the skin cancer involves the eyelid, lip, nose, ear, or face. The advantages of the Mohs procedure to the patient, simply put, is that a smaller wound will heal quicker and with a smaller scar. On average, the complete removal of the skin cancer will require two to three trips to the surgical suite. Some cancers, due to their spread into local tissue, will require more sessions to remove the tumor completely. However, even these larger cases can usually be completed in the same day. 
At the completion of your surgery and repair, our nursing staff will give you instructions on how to care for your wound. Patients should understand that there is not an absolute guarantee that any given procedure will be totally free of complications or adverse reactions. Most surgery is no exception. During surgery, tiny nerve endings are cut, which may produce a temporary or permanent numbness in and around the surgical area. If a large tumor is removed or extensive surgery is required, occasionally a nerve to muscles may be cut, resulting in temporary or permanent weakness in a portion of the face. This is, however, an unusual complication. The surgical area may remain tender for several weeks or months after surgery, especially if large amounts of tissue was removed. Rarely, some patients experience intermittent itching or shooting pain in the surgical area. In addition, skin grafts and flaps used to cover surgical areas may not fully survive, requiring additional repair.